Good morning and welcome to our daily reflection for Wednesday before Christmas. I'm going to begin with a prayer of thanksgiving. Blessed are you, sovereign God of all, to you be praise and glory forever. In your tender compassion, the dawn from on high is breaking upon us to dispel the lingering shadows of night. As we look for your coming among us this day, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Some verses from Psalm 124. If the Lord himself has not been on our side, now may Israel say, If the Lord has not been on our side, when enemies rose up against us, then would they have swallowed us alive. When their anger burned against us, then would the waters have overwhelmed us and the torrent gone over our soul. Over our soul would have swept the raging waters. But blessed be the Lord who has not given us over to the prey for their teeth. Our soul has escaped as a bird from the snare of the fowler. The snare is broken and we are delivered. Our help is in the name of the Lord who has made heaven and earth. And so we respond to those words with a prayer. O God, maker of heaven and earth, you save us in the water of baptism and by the suffering of your son you set us free. Help us to put our trust in his victory and to know the salvation won for us by Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Well, Sam and I went to Liverpool Cathedral quite recently and just had time to wander around. We picked up their Christmas card and it has a prayer on the reverse of it and that has set the tone for today's reflection. Love, you are gentle and kind. This Christmas in Jesus, hold us by the hand as Mary, his mother, held him. Protect us, tenderly guide us and be there as we wake from sleep so our eyes and our hearts are filled with your love now and forever. Amen. Well, remember what I've been saying all year. God is what God does and God does what God is. And John, Jesus' best friend, reflecting on the life of Jesus, would say that God is love. And so that took me to that famous passage from 1 John chapter 4. Let's listen to it now as Eugene Peterson translates it in the message. My beloved friends, let us continue to love each other since love comes from God. Everyone who loves is born of God and experiences a relationship with God. The person who refuses to love doesn't know the first thing about God because God is love. So you can't know him if you don't love. This is how God showed his love for us. God sent his only son into the world so that we might live through him. This is the kind of love we are talking about. Not that we once upon a time loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as a sacrifice to clear away our sins and the damage they've done to our relationship with God's, with God. My dear, dear friends, if God loved us like this, we certainly ought to love each other. No one has ever seen God ever, but if we love one another, God dwells deeply within us and his love becomes complete in us. Perfect love. And of course, John will say at the beginning of his gospel, that Jesus is the one who's come to narrate God to us to show us exactly what he's like. God is what God does and God does what God is and he's revealed himself to us in Jesus who demonstrates his love. 
And of course, uh, as I reflected on that, it took me to the words of Christina Rossetti's poem, which has been used as a carol to several different tunes. Love came down at Christmas, love all lovely, love divine, love was born at Christmas, star and angels gave the sign. Worship we the Godhead, love incarnate, love divine, worship we our Jesus. But wherewith for sacred sign, love shall be our token. Love be yours and love be mine. Love to God and all men. Love for plea and gift and sign. Rossetti's poem encapsulates what John was saying, his reflection on God as love, that God's demonstrated his love for us in Jesus and therefore we are called especially at this time, to live lives marked by his love. And so we pray simply that we will do that even today. Amen. And so may God bless you today and this week. May you know the love of Christ filling your hearts. Amen. Have a great day. God bless.